Greetings everyone, Lily Farm Guy here with a new mod test for Friday, May the 21st. And we have the TLX 3500 series by 82 Studio, 85.14 megabytes to download. And ranging from, uh, with just the truck itself, 14 slots. Uh, ranging from 9, 12, 6, 7, 7, 5. So those, <laughs> anywhere between um, 5 slots and 12 slots for the attachments. Now, um, let's go over here. And this is just the base game, the basic, basic truck body. You get a truck box, um, a back attachment, a tipper, a dump truck attachment, another type of a service truck type attachment, a tank, and a feed mixer. Now we'll try to, we will go through them one at a time, and then I have one of each over there, and I will demonstrate how each one works. Um... So we we'll start start with the truck itself, um, and you'll find these under vehicles. So I, it's going to be a little bit over all over the place. Uh, there are two choices, and the reason there is two choices. They're both exactly the same, except for the engine sound. So if you want to the seven point three liter engine sound, you pick this one. If you want the six point two liter sound, you pick this one. We'll go here, and so once you pick the uh, 7.3 liter sound, uh, you can still pick the engine size uh, here. You can still go to the with the supercharged 6.2, which gives you the 620, but you will just still have the 7.3 liter sound. Hopefully, you if you get that. Hopefully, you get understand that part of it. Because that's the difference between these two models. Now, let's start back up at the top. Configurations. I uh, will try to go through this, uh, not to take too long. Standard uh, full extras, so everything standard or full extras. So full extras means, well, all those extra stuff on there for $69.50. Uh, wheel bands. We got basics, uh, all terrain, off-road, con continental, I think that says mud, I can't see it, uh, swamp, um, snow, Nokian, and back to basics. Um, and there is a number of choices within all these tire sizes, off-road, Wide, wide, two twins, sport twins, uh, pros. Yes, so the tire choices are absolutely just enormous. And there are some crazy uh, combinations. This one I think I've chose for a few of them. The Winter Wolf tires with chains and all sorts of crazinesses. Uh, Nokian has pretty big chunky tires. Uh, and then back here, uh, lighting, standard spotlights, spotlights, LED lights, strobe lights, spotlights too, Lily daylights too, then standard. So if we put those on, liveries. Now that is, <clears throat> these are going to be like patterns. You got the digital camo. Winter Wolf camo or back to standard. We'll leave it on standard for now because there's color options. Emblems, you have the standard emblem. I believe that's on the right on the, the the door. No, where is the? I don't see where that changes. TLX 3500. Hmm. Okay, we'll leave that for now. Uh, the supercharged or the regular, uh, it'll cost only $2,200. It'd go for the big engine probably. Main colors, so anything on here. So there's quite a number of choices. Nitro blue, DJ's favorite color. 
<clears throat> design color, that's going to be that bottom stripe there. Interior detail color, that's going to be the color of the, some of the interior parts. Metal parts, let's make that uh, bright green so you can see. That's going to be the exhaust. And uh, the suspension and rim color, we can make that purple as well. Right, so that is your choices for the truck itself. Now, uh, where are the accessories? Accessories, some of them are going to be, I believe the most of them are going to be in miscellaneous, except for the feed mixer. So you have the regular pickup side truck standard. You have a rack, rack with LED, roll bar, roll bar style, style again, roll bar, headache rack with toolbox, headache rack with a toolbox. And it, so if you pick this, you get a, um, a fuel tank, accessory fuel tank with that, special items. If, uh, and then, so metalized, black bell. So these are the special additions. Silver bullet standard, metalized, black bell, black bell, copper head, silver bullet standard. Uh, bumper, off-road, standard, off-road main, standard, off-road design, standard. Uh, all kinds of different options. <clears throat> oh, there we go on the back. El Toro, El Toro Glow. El Tor oh, man, they're just like all sort. It's all, these are all like, <clears throat> uh, you can you can also put the camo on there. Uh, attachers, gooseneck or standard. You can get a gooseneck in there. Fenders, you can go wide or different styles of wide. Uh, the colors, of course. Those colors, the design color is going to be the bottom and the bumper and license plate, right? Okay, so I'm pretty much the service rack the, on, on the flatbed will add a fuel tank. <clears throat> you also have all the other fenders, side rails, color options, etc. Then we go to the Tipper. Now this is interesting. Standard tipper uh, <clears throat> configuration: ten thousand eight hundred and twenty liters. If you go with the extended, twelve thousand eight hundred and twenty liters. Unreal capacity is a hundred and eight thousand two hundred liters. That'll cost you ten grand. It's well worth it. Lighting standard: beacons, work lights, both strobes. Attachers, adjustable, I would go with adjustable. It's well worth it uh, for the extra zero dollars. <laughs> uh, you pay for either one, so it doesn't matter. <clears throat> cover, you could have a cover. Of course, main color. Design color is going to be your cover. And my menu is stuck. Come on, menu. There we go. And then the license plate. Right. Prospector um, back. Oh, yes. <clears throat> prices, you can see what the prices are. I don't have to tell you what the prices are. <clears throat> Standard configuration service rack adds a fuel tank. Fenders, you can go wide. Uh, what is added without the size? Folding. Oh, okay. If you have the... Uh, you have the fuel tank. You don't get the folding mechanism standard or platform. Right. Uh, fenders wide, oh, extra wide. Okay. Twins extra wide. Lighting spotlights, LED strobes, spotlights, lights, 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 lights. And then you get the standard or extended, which is makes it a little wider. And the main color, of course, is a color choice. Right, so now the feed mixer top and the <clears throat> tank is going to be under animals. Uh, let's look at the tank. Configuration standard sprayer, which puts a sprayer attachment. You can spray slurry, 
um, your uh, herbicide <clears throat> liquid fertilizer slurry or digestate would be the sprayer uh, what the sprayer would spray the the uh, uh, so you have sprayer at six thousand and fifty six liters unreal uh, capacity at sixty thousand and fifty six liters that will hold all those items you've seen before unreal sprayer sixty thousand fifty six and standard so those are your options fenders of course strobes yes or no main color any one of those colors and last but not least <clears throat> the tlx feed it by kuhn <clears throat> standard size 11.9 liters 11 11 liters of capacity you can have fenders wide, twins extra wide, strobes yes or no. Capacity unreal would be 50,000 liters for extra 10 grand. And the main color, of course, even pink. Right. All right. So. The uh, truck cab with a standard box. And the um, fuel tank, uh, I if you close the cover, oh, now it's, uh, now I can refill it. It was not giving me the option to unload or refill. Uh, it is a fuel tank. You can refuel vehicles. I uh, actually in this one also has. This is the service tank with the uh, the uh, clothes cover. Those side pieces come out, come in and out, like so. It's just something to show. Uh, if we if we go forward here, I can do the refill, and I'm filling actually from the uh, this other truck here. Oh, there we go. We selected the back piece here. Uh, close cover. Open cover. Now we have fuel in there. There we go. Now we can unload into the other one, the tank, if we want. Uh, Ah, reverse lights. See the the tailgate lights up uh, with the reverse lights. We have the strobes and everything on. Uh, interior is uh, this is the standard interior. I didn't change the color in here. Um, oh, the uh, gear shifts that way and backing up shifts that way. Um, <laughs> uh, basically, this the it has the gooseneck attachment. You can tow a gooseneck trailer with that. This one also. I do believe has a gooseneck attachment, uh, straps, um, and the, the fuel tank, of course. The tipper we have here, and we have uh, 108,000 liters of stones in there, and as you can see, it uh, doesn't mind the stones at all. I do believe the weight is not uh, registering. I, Pretty sure that's what it is. So let's go over here and unload it. And this is the unloading mechanism, or the unloading um, animation. That's what I wanted to say. Unloading animation. Uh, it's uh, quite a few things to go through. Now I do believe there was. Oh, did I show that? I do believe there was a slow option. <laughs> for the animation for the tipper if we go back there just quickly like that uh attach it fix the dust will fix no still a real forestry standard lighting beacons work with see i wonder no it is there is hmm i'm 
must be uh, I must be mis misremembering something or an invented memory. Hmm. Right. Okay. Um, so that's just basically um, your standard uh, dump truck type. And now this is also uh, has a fuel rack on the back with uh, we have tension straps. We have a um, gooseneck uh, attacher there uh, unfold the trailer we'll do that that's L1 and X also opening the cover we'll open up those I'm not sure what the oh yes the hitch height they all have adjustable hitch height which comes in, which may come in quite handy for many things, just so R1 and right stick, right and left. So don't forget that all of them that have this hitch like so will have the adjustable hitch like that. That will come in very handy with many things. Uh, reverse. Uh, we, oh, there we go. We have rear lights. Lots of lighting, lots of good lighting on these. I think that's all the, uh, the let's see, so the tension belts already. Uh, I'm trying to go through these as systematically as possible. I have filled this with slurry. Uh, let's go show you the spread width, which is, uh, to be quite honest, disappointing. I have I've had actually these out for a bit before. The workers will no. The workers will not. You cannot hire a worker to do this. This is manually. Oh, it's not even showing any animation. Hmm. Yeah, it's not showing the animation from the um, slurry spreading. Mm, it's just showing where you do it. Uh, looks like it's about what is that four meters five meters maybe could be six possibly six meters uh, nine miles per hour uh, that slurry will last forever but you're gonna be yeah you're gonna you're gonna fall asleep from boredom doing this manually by yourself um, yeah just saying. Uh, it's the same with the herbicide and the the liquid fertilizer. At least you can get to the uh, field quickly, but you're not going to be spraying anything quickly. Um, if you want to see, uh, we're just going to change this to um, uh, Unreal. Just, just Unreal. To show you uh, what other products you can put in there and how quickly it, it empties because it is a multi-purpose uh, it is a multi-purpose tank it seems to and it empties as you can see empties quite quickly so that's very nice uh, that's uh, super handy when you have uh, 60,000 liters in a tank now what does it uh, what does it contain we can get slurry water milk liquid fertilizer digestate herbicide diesel diesel exhaust fluid and back to slurry so those are the products you can um, transport with the tank uh, which is pretty much in every liquid really uh, last but not least we have the feed mixer uh, now as you could as we shown this was uh, capacity up to uh, unreal capacity up to 50,000 liters we will show you how it unloads I don't think there's any you could turn on the mixing wagon as you can see it's doing the mixing thing which is kind of pretty cool uh, oh sorry about that uh, stopping the our over uh, I think that's about it for the options. Uh, just the last 
uh, show you unloading here that will open up and it will pour out. Unfortunately, the unloading a bit of it is uh, quite slow in comparison to some of the other, uh, but um, it's not the worst, but it is kind of slow. Just saying, but um, that's a little, it's probably a little bit high, sitting a little bit high for some of the <clears throat> barns too. Although a lot of the barns have some good clearance, so it's kind of by one of those things where um, it may or may not fit. But uh, fifty thousand liters is not uh, is probably the I'm going to say it's the biggest feed mixer we have for sure. Although I don't. Uh, to be honest, I don't uh, use feed mixers, so I'm not, I am not an expert judge of feed mixer size or uh, operational, uh, uh, well, operational operation. And I think, uh, I'm sure I've missed uh, something or other, um, I do apologize if I have missed something, um, but it is it is a really solid uh, vehicle um, if you can get past the 85.14 megabytes to download it um, there are some useful bits at, and attachments and uh, I would imagine that um, there will likely be some uh, updates or additions to it later on for one thing or another and so that is the TLX 3500 series by 82 Studio, 85.14 megabytes to download. Uh, the vehicle itself and the frame, nine, uh, 14 slots. And then uh, ranging from um, 5 up to 12 slots, I believe the 12, no, the 12 slots is one of the... Uh, one of the backs. I think it's the dump truck for some reason. But anyways, um, I'm Louie Farm Guy, and remember, it's only a game. So till next time, bye for now.